After measures to pass school choice legislation failed during the regular session, Governor Greg Abbott promised to bring legislators back for the special session that started Monday and says he's prepared to call another one if legislators fail to reach a deal again. Nevertheless, we're going to continue to oppose the vouchers and continue to push for, for more funding for public schools and higher pay for teachers and support staff. But with this year's largest budget increase in Texas history and an $18.6 billion surplus projected by the state Comptroller Adam Angievsky with Open the Book says Texas has more than enough money to educate its students, to provide a world class education. He points to Austin Independent School District, where of the top 300 paid employees, only three are teachers. Teachers are in the classroom, administrators aren't teaching students, and it was 297 top paid administrators out of their top 300. Governor Abbott has proposed education savings accounts where tax dollars would follow students who leave their public schools. This education savings account idea would be funded out of the general fund of Texas. It wouldn't be funded from edu traditional education monies. Angievsky says according to the Texas Education Agency's school report card, one million students are attending schools that are failing basic metrics like reading and math comprehension. Let the parents decide if their children are receiving the proper amount of education, and if they're not, give them a lifeline. The Texas State Teachers Association points to different numbers. Texas, on average, pays about $4,000 less per student in state funding than the national average and pays its teachers more than $7,000 below the national average. Angievsky says for a scholarship program to work, the state would also need to allocate money to districts if and when a student decides to leave. Republicans control both houses and a Republican governor, but that really at this point, that doesn't mean too much. We'll see if they can get their act together. Reporting in Austin, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.